Nearly a thousand local jobs are on the line tonight after First Energy announced plans to shut down the Beaver Valley nuclear power plant in Shipping Port. While the company has started the process, the closure is still a ways off. Paul Martino is live at the plant tonight with more on all of this. Paul, what can you tell us? Well, David, uh, First Energy says it'll take them three years to shut down this plant. And while the announcement is devastating for this area, it is filled with a lot of qualifying terms, terms like we anticipate, we forecast, there's the potential. So it's certainly not a done deal yet. It's 35 miles northwest of Pittsburgh, sitting on 1,000 acres. Two Westinghouse pressurized water reactors built here in the 1970s. But now comes the announcement many were fearing. First Energy says the market challenges facing these units are beyond their control. They add the decision is difficult and in no way a reflection on the dedicated, hardworking employees. Community reaction? It's predictable. People have been uh, on pins and needles about the anticipation that this could happen, this kind of an announcement. Obviously, it's a significant uh, employer and a significant part of the economy of Beaver County. The energy company cites less demand and lower prices, making nuclear energy less competitive. They hold out a glimmer of hope, however, saying, we called on elected officials in Ohio and Pennsylvania to consider policy solutions, solutions that will make it feasible to continue to operate these plants in the future. You know, there have been several bills that they were trying to advance that would give some, some regulatory uh, relief and some financial incentives to keep the, uh, the facility open. What's that mean? Well, they're trying to get regulations passed that would allow them to make customers pay a surcharge for energy that comes from a source with zero emissions. There's little doubt losing this plant will have a huge impact. 800 jobs, millions in taxes, and stuff you wouldn't even consider. The first energy folks, the employees in their corporate uh, accounts, accounted for 15% of the United Way's total gross last year. And there's one other possibility here, and that is somebody could come along and buy this plant and keep it operating. We're going to be hearing a lot more about that, that's for sure. Uh, reporting live from Shipping Port, Paul Martino, KDKA TV News.